Okay, let's look at a typical example. Uh, a boy with mass equals n equals 45 kg is standing in an elevator moving up and coming to a stop with a equals 1.0 meter per second squared. What are the forces acting on the boy? So first of all, we have to draw a free body diagram. So the although uh, you can imagine that uh, this is the elevator, you know, a boy is standing in, in the elevator. So the elevator is moving with acceleration, so that's the V. But when it's uh, moving, although it's moving up, but it's coming to a stop, so you should understand the acceleration is actually going down. So that's the direction of acceleration, okay? So uh, let's draw a free body diagram. So we take the student uh, separated from its surroundings uh, to draw a free body diagram. So we should have two forces, right? As long as the person is living you know, on Earth, there is FG. And then uh, whenever the person is in contact with something, so uh, we might have a normal force or friction. But in this case, uh, we definitely have a normal force going up, Fn. And uh, friction, I uh, don't think so, because there's no uh, relative motion between the person and uh, the elevator, and not even the mm, tendency of relative motion. Okay, now after you've done this, so the two forces, and also you should label the acceleration. Okay, it doesn't matter with the velocity, because we're going to apply Newton's second law. It doesn't uh, have any relation to velocity. Yeah, we do have acceleration equals uh, 1.0 meter per second squared. Okay, so uh, there are a couple of different ways uh, after you've done the free body diagram and uh, to use uh, Newton's second law. So uh, let's put this down first. So net force equals ma, so that's Newton's second law. And then uh, think about how to substitute the net force. So if we take up as positive, okay, and then Fn is the force positive, and then uh, Fn, uh, the plus the Fg, which is negative, we put Fg here, and, and then should equal the Ma. Uh, the A, now be careful, it's going down. So we should give the A negative 1. Okay, negative 1. Uh, that's one way. Uh, and then you just find out, uh, use the formula to help you find out the, the force. Now before you find out the Fn, so we, we need to uh, find out the Fg first. So Fg, uh, now just just in case you don't know this, so Fg is uh, if the any object with M is falling. So we understand it has acceleration A equals 9.8 meter per second squared, which is actually the G, right? And then this is the acceleration. And we know when it's falling, there's only one force, that's Fg, right? So apply Newton's second law, we should have the Fg equals Ma equals Mg. Okay, so that's actually the way we calculate the Fg uh, while the object is uh, near the Earth. So we use mass times uh, the nine point uh, the G which is nine point eight, so we can easily get an answer. So forty five is the mass kg times nine point eight meter per second squared, and then we calculate. So we should get four one newton. Uh, take two significant digits. 
So we'll get a full, full zero Newton. Okay. And then uh, with the formula given here, so we uh, obviously uh, we can plug in the information we already know. So Fn is the normal force we're going to find it out. Now, by the way, don't don't assume the Fn is same as Fg, right? It's different depending on the situation. Right now, because of the acceleration, they are different. You can see uh, in a minute. So plus. So the Fg is going down, so we uh, we need to put the negative. So negative four, four, one. You probably notice I still put the four, four, one. So that's my habit. Uh, I only round the the answer at the last step. Okay, and e equals the m is forty five. So the a is negative one. Okay. Uh, here you go. Then you can solve this simple equation. You should get the Fn equals moles for negative over the other side you get positive over there minus 45 so equals minus uh, uh, 45 so you get a 396 Newton uh, round to two significant digits so we should get 40 uh, 4 yeah, round up, you should get a 400, zero, zero, and that's hard to express the second digit. So we better use scientific notation. And uh, it's actually 400 Newton. Okay, now just a quick summary. Uh, for To find out Fg, uh, we basically use mg, it's a mass times uh, extra acceleration due to gravity. Uh, as long as the object is near the Earth, okay. If it's in the space, uh, the g is different. So that's a uh, we'll talk about that later. And then, uh, based on the free body diagram, you follow the Newton's second law. Uh, replace each one with the, uh, the information. For example, net force. It's the sum of uh, individual forces acting on the object. And equals m a, right? Replace m, replace a, and for some cases, you might, the question might ask you to find out the a if they're uh, given all the forces, right? Uh, anyway, the formula is the same; it's coming from Newton's second law, and then the rest of the skill is to solve the equation. Okay.